Hello everyone, and we're back with part 2 on how to make a drawing game using Scratch. In part 1, uh, we, uh, we made this new variable called pen size, and this allows you to um, change, change the thickness of your pen. So let's just test out what we've got so far. We've got a nice blue pen, and whenever you click and drag, you can draw. And if you change the pen size, it goes to any number. Yeah, so uh, basically that's what we did in um, uh, part one. If you uh, haven't checked out part one, please go to my channel and check it out. I'll also be putting the link to part one in the description. So yeah, let's get into it. In this tutorial, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be um, we're going to be fixing the color. We're, we're going to be uh, making the player able to change color of the pen, and uh, that's also where the red pens, these uh, pencil sprites, come in. I uh, also showed how to make them in uh, part one, so uh, if you haven't already checked it out, please do. Okay, so what we're going to first do is, we're going to grab a if statement. Okay, um, now we want to grab, a, go to operators and grab equals, go to variables and get the pen color variable. Uh, so when the pen color is equal to a certain color, we want the pen to change that color. So if the pen color equals red, for example, we want to set the pen color to this color. Um, so now I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm just going to copy and I'm just going to duplicate the statement and I'm just going to change the value. So next one is green and change it to green. Then we've got blue, and we're going to change the color to blue. Uh, so I've only done four uh, different pencils, but uh, you can do as many, you, uh, as many as you want. I'm just doing this, but the, 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 the tutorial isn't that long. And black. Cool. Now we just need to put this under the set pen size block. Put this, uh, stack them underneath each other. Okay, so now that what you'll find is uh, you're actually not able to change the pen color. You, you're only able to use black. You can't actually change it to any other color. And that's where the pencils come in. So um, I'm going to go on to red pencil. And we're going to start doing the code for the pencils. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab a simple when green pair clicked. So uh, what we want to do here is we want uh, the player to be able to click these pencils and then the pen will change color according to what pencil they've clicked. Okay, so I'm going to go to control, grab a forever block. Now we put, now before we do the code for uh, the clicking, I just want to make sure that the pencils stay in exactly the position I've put them. I've put them on the side. Um, you can put them wherever you want, but I, I think putting them on the side is the best. So go to x173, y137, which are the exact same coordinates as written here. So these are the coordinates of the pencil on the on the grid. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab an if else statement. If else, and uh, we're not gonna put it inside the forever loop as yet, uh, so that I'm, so we can make it easier. We can the code becomes easier. So if touching mouse pointer, so what this means is if if the mouse pointer is hovering over the pencil, uh, we want to go to looks and. Um, Set the brightness effect um, to, I'd say about 40 to 45, so any any number in between 40 to 40, so 45. If anything else, I want the brightness effect to be zero. So what that means is the there will be no effect on the brightness, it will stay the same. So let's just test this out. Oh, we first need to put this in the forever loop, almost forgot. So you can see that there's some change, and uh, that just indicates that you, the mouse is hovering over the pencil. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to events, and when the sprite clicked, pretty simple, set pen color to red. So, uh, quite simple, really, really simple. Now I'm just going to drag this into the green pencil, and we should have the code here. Ooh, the other one didn't get, go through. Nice, and now we can. Now we're just going to change the values. 
So um, the green pencil coordinates are 173 and 85, the Y value. And um, green. Oh, we don't need that. And we're just going to put this in the blue pencil. So actually, we're not doing much here. We're just copy and pasting a lot of stuff. So the values here are 170. In fact, let's keep 173 instead of 172. And 33. And uh, this is going to be blue. And finally, black. Yeah, so actually we're not doing much in this tutorial, it's really, really simple. And we're going to change this to 173, not 170, just to be more specific, and minus 22, and change it to black. Okay, so we should have the colour pretty much sorted. Okay, so if I uh, press red, you can see the variable changes to red, and the pen colour also changes to red. Uh, if, I ch if I press green, yep, the pen colour is green, let's just check the pen size works pretty well blue yeah really well and black yeah so we got the pen so, uh, the pen color and the pen size sorted now of course we want the player to be able to raise uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna add a new sprite we're gonna paint a new sprite um, so I'm just gonna draw a plain black black rectangle um, and it's gonna be black Um, then what we're going to do is we're just going to type some text into it. It's going to be eraser and we're going to change the font color to white. Then just make this a bit bigger. Yeah, then we pretty much have it. We just need to make it smaller. And we're just going to keep it here. Maybe, maybe move the text. Let's move the text a bit down. Yeah, that's quite good. So actually in this tutorial, we're not doing much, it's pretty simple. And uh, surprising, the eraser, the eraser code is really, really simple. It's, um, it's practically the same as all the pencils. So I'm gonna go to black pencil, uh, drag it here and here. And we should have it all here. Now, um, we want the pen, we want the eraser to be same coordinates, so 234 minus 117. So we're, we're really just doing the same thing as we did with the pencils. And the pen, the color will be white. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now let's just test out our game and see if it works. And if you use the, uh, our new eraser tool, Oh, the eraser doesn't seem to be working. Ah, now that I think I know why. We forgot to add um we forgot to add the white colour to our list over here in the pen. In the pen sprite. So I'm gonna go to control. Grab an if statement. Um operators variables pen colour. If pen colour equals uh, eraser actually, pen color equals eraser. Then we want to set the pen color to absolute white. Yeah, and uh, now let's just test it out to see if it works. Let's test the eraser. Ooh, uh, we need to change this to eraser. Yep, now it should work. Check if the eraser works. Uh, well, it works, but I actually think that the pen color isn't great. It's a bit grayish. So uh, I'll do something like that. Now let's try it out. Oh, yeah, that works much better. And if we check the pen size, it's pretty good. So actually, in this tutorial, it was quite simple. There was nothing much. There was a lot of copy and pasting. And I'd say overall, this game works pretty well. It's pretty simple. And uh, that's the end of this tutorial and the end of the game. Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe the video. 
and if you want to share it to someone who would find this useful. Thanks for watching.